soon, more than 30,000 girls across Los Angeles will be starting their own businesses. The product? Sweet, delicious Girl Scout cookies. But the sweetest part of the cookie program isn't the cookies themselves. It's how the experience of selling cookies transforms girls into young, business-savvy entrepreneurs. The cookie program is so much more than just selling cookies. Girls get to learn skills about budgeting, money management, short-term goals, long-term goals. They get to set individual goals and they have to work with their troop to set um, group goals and figure out what those are. Um, it's all about getting out into the public, working with people. There are just so many wonderful things about selling cookies. The Girl Scout Cookie Program develops five key skills. Goal setting. My goal is 600 boxes because I want to go to 500. Money management. Sometimes when they give you big dollar bills, you have to give them change. Decision making. We can decide if we want to like go to Disneyland with our friends or sell cookies and get closer to our goal. People skills. When people are rude and they just walk right by without saying anything, it's kind of annoying, but you just smile and like, okay, have a nice day. Business ethics. We have to be honest about the money. I'll say we buy it. It's no surprise that most Girl Scouts name the cookie program as their favorite program of the year. After all, what could be more fun than spending every weekend with your best friends, coming up with fun and creative ways to sell cookies? Hey, no okay. don't give me no pot, no pot, just give me those Girl Scout cookies. I see them be shining But behind all that fun is some serious business. Did you know in a national survey of girls, only 12% say they feel very confident when it comes to working with money? That's where the cookie program can play a major role in teaching girls financial literacy, even before they get their first credit card. As a leader, sometimes it's tiring. I work, you know, I have other commitments, I have to take care of my daughter. Um, but ultimately, it was best for all of the girls in my troop to have that experience of running their own business, of being entrepreneurs, of learning to work with the customers, and the benefits of it far outweighed any time I spent or any, you know, that feeling of being overwhelmed and being tired. For newly formed troops looking to dive right into the Girl Scout experience and jumpstart their fundraising, the cookie program is the perfect opportunity. It's never too early to start with cookies. Coming from the perspective of being a new, newly formed troop, I can tell you it seems like a lot to take on and it may even seem intimidating at some point, but just go in there and don't be afraid to dive in head first. The rewards are tremendous. The girls give you so much motivation to keep pressing and you'll soon find out that the girls take on most of the work themselves. With all the hard work that girls and volunteers put into cookie season, it's nice to be rewarded. Girl Scouts have used their cookie proceeds to cover all sorts of fun activities and adventures. We're going to use our cookie money to go to Europe in Dublin, London, and Paris. In the past, we have used our cookie money to bridge at Disneyland and stay a few nights down there. On field trips and donating cookies to soldiers. Well, we used it to support different programs, one being the 8th grade scholarship, we will take essays from 8th grade students and then decide which ones we feel have earned a portion of the money in order to start them off, you know, with the head start in high school to help pay for supplies, books, whatever they need to get a head start. Two of the most coveted rewards that girls aim for each year are the prestigious Club 500 event, which rewards girls who sell 500 or more boxes of cookies, and the Elite 1000 event, which rewards girls who sell 1,000 or more boxes. Club 500 is a lot of fun. You know, there's water slides, there's a pool, there's bouncy houses, and the aqua flyer. It's just so much fun. There's a buffet, games to play. It's so much fun. So what are the cookie selling strategies that help girls reach or exceed their goals? I make sure that we have a lot of thin mints and samosas because those are the customer's favorite kind of cookies. I tell people about our goal to help the animal shop. I think girls should make posters. We sing songs to attract people to our booth. That one, did you see that one? Okay, this girl is on fire! The wonderful Gift of Caring program, um, which is a program that 
donates the cookies to various organizations, things like the LA Food Bank, Bob the Hopes, USO, um, Operation Gratitude, there are several others as well. And this program often is not utilized as much as it could. And it's a great way for girls to deal with the no's. When people say, oh, you know, no, they don't want to have the cookies, they, they don't want, you know, or they've already bought them, you can ask people to donate cookies to send them to the militaries overseas through this. And then that way they've supported not only your Girl Scout troop, but then they've supported other charities that Girl Scouts have worked with. With the combination of learning new talents, reaching for big goals, helping others, hanging with friends, and having an absolute blast while doing it, the Girl Scout Cookie Program is the quintessential Girl Scout activity that every girl should be a part of. The girls have fun with it, the more the parents have fun with it. It just goes hand in hand and it's, it's fun for everyone. And if they, and if they don't um, participate with us, um, they're missing out on all of fun. I can't wait to go to Europe. My favorite part about cookie season is eating the cookies. I can't wait for cookie season. Troop 12581. Buy from us. Yeah, just saying. Just like that there. Help us reach our goals. Talk to your troop or service unit cookie chair about participating today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>